I love days like today when there's hardly anyone around. Hello, Bernadetta. Do you have a minute? Ah! What? I wasn't doing anything, I swear! I'll take that as a yes. Listen, there's a small matter that needs a bit of handling, so I'm gathering up anyone who's available. Which, as of right now, is just the three of us. Okay, well, I'm not much good at dealing with things, and certainly not with, you know, matters. Knock it off. You can more than hold your own in a fight, and you know it. I mean, sure, we'll be fighting bandits in a cave, but how hard can it be? Oh, see? I should definitely sit this one out. Isn't there someone else you can ask? This is my day off! It's Bernie Day! Actually, nearly everyone else is off scene to one task or another at the moment. Oh, I guess that's why it's so nice and quiet around here today. Enough! If we don't make haste, the enemy will realize we are coming and flee their location. <laughs> Who are you? That's Duke Garrett, the Minister of Foreign Affairs. I assume this is your first time meeting. This may very well be, but I have quite often worked alongside your mother. Really? I guess I should be thanking you for keeping her safe then. Ah, not so. In fact, it is very much I who am indebted to her and her considerable talents. All right, I think that's enough introductions for now. We need to get this show on the road, remember? Quite right. Bernadetta, let me get you up to speed. Two years ago, I was attempting to recover the lost fetters of Dromi. But a suspicious personage, seemingly having learned of my efforts, managed to infiltrate my inner circle. They were likely working for Lord Arundel. In a related note, someone attached themselves to my father, Baron Ox, during the time I went missing. My investigation into that person led me to Duke Garrett's inner circle. Point being, these suspicious actors all appear to lead back to a single group. And those are the cave people? Indeed. After many fruitless attempts, we finally managed to track them down. We must strike before they have a chance to relocate. And Edelgard and Hubert and the rest of them really aren't around? It's just... me? Looks like Bernie Day will have to wait. It's bad luck we ended up getting the report today. Sorry, Bernadetta. Well, I'll just have to take it out on the enemy. Let's go. And remember, time is of the essence. We will strike a mighty blow against any who would threaten our empire and her majesty. And as I fear I'm not much of a fighter, I will be depending greatly on you all. Good luck. This true not a problem. I've got it. It's Bernie time to shine. Sure hope this goes well. Orders play the play. This. Because it looks for all the world like a hideout of common brickedness. I think that's the idea. So first, we'll need to eliminate the bandits outside. Bernadetta, they're no match for you. You really think so? Well, in that case, I guess I can give it a shot. 
from Her Majesty. We needed the bargaining chip to ply the Archbishop when we negotiated the reformation of the Southern Church. Some time. I'm doing well, thank you. He's slowly becoming more accustomed to his standing in the air, despite never wanting it in the first place. I will gladly handle this. Or My turn. everyone.
Sounds like we're on to We had best get ready for a tough fight. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. It's Bernie's time to shine! Sure hope this go- Bring the stronghold down efficiently. Okay. 
I will gladly hand the orders received. Sure hope this... appear to be falling. They sniffed us out. Just like the beasts they are. That's the commander. Hold fast and fight to the bitter end. What are you going to take you all on? That woman has both speed... I will gladly handle this. Orders received. Not a problem. I've got this. Hers and a strong will. She's nothing at all like what I've heard. success, I suppose. He is certainly proving to be a troublesome foe. I will have to inform Her Majesty. Not to be 
strong to survive, I guess. All of my victories are for Lady Edelgard. Would you look at that? We should all feel good about getting through that last battle with our heads still on our shoulders. Thanks mostly to the two of you. Yes, you set my mind at ease regarding our future prospects. And I've come out of it with a fine story for Lady Varley. Oh, um, you did? Yes, she's been quite worried about you. But now I can tell her you're getting along wonderfully. Um, thank you? And with that, I must take my leave. Of all the Imperial nobles I've met, that guy seems like one of the most decent and normal. The kind of man you can trust. Yes, what you see is what you get with the good Duke. He's a truly honest soul. He tries to keep himself safe and sound, of course, but that's no different than any other noble. He also seemed pretty worried about Bernadetta. So hey! Are these caves great or what? All that cold, crisp air just settles right in here. It would be a great place to curl up and hide. I have no idea what you're talking about. Come on, you know, the mountain air, the clean type, it all settles down in the caves. I like that. <sighs> hey, whatever you say. Such caves are often layers for monsters as well. Oh, and bandits, obviously. When it comes to curling up, I think this would be more dangerous than cozy. E yeah, that's actually a good point. It might be too dangerous to hang out here all alone. Plus, if heavy rains have been eroding the bedrock, a bad enough storm could collapse the entire system. All that to say, I think you're safer staying in a room with four man-made walls. Fine! I won't hide in caves anymore! Are you happy? Anymore? But you're always just locked up in your room. You're not! We see each other all the time! Could a locked up person do that? Huh? Uh, I guess not, no. You guess? So mean! Sorry, that came out wrong. Apology accepted, but you better watch it. Well, I think we're done here. Let's head back. <laughs>